In parts of Damascus, it's easy to forget there is a war. Maybe that's why Bakhtash ice cream is so packed. When so much has been destroyed, Syrians hold on to much-loved traditions. The Bakhtash family has been making ice cream in the old city since 1895, using the same secret recipe for three generations. Except war has made real cherries too expensive now. When they come here and we, we, we say, they see us that we are still working, for that reason they smile and they be happy because we are still working. We put our smile, we put our hope, uh, hopeful in, our, uh, in the ice cream. In some neighborhoods, other summer rituals go on as well. Relief that one more exam is out of the way for these high school students. In Syria, nearly one in five schools is now shut. These teenagers are fortunate to live in a safe, government-controlled area. You don't have any worries? No worries? They answer in unison. No, none at all. They thank their army and their president, Bashar al-Assad, for keeping them safe. But normal life here is no longer normal. People have had to find ways to live with war. Even when a shell lands nearby, no one flinches. They hear it night and day. They don't even look up. But just two streets away, there is no life at all. Like many neighborhoods, Jobar is now a battleground. Rebel fighters are holed up here. The government responds with overwhelming force. Imagine how many people lived here. They're all gone. The lucky ones find shelter and even a special place for children. This center is one of a handful in the city, run by UNICEF and the Syrian Arab Red Crescent. It's a way to restore some of the joys of childhood. The 13-year-old Rania still wears her sadness. Her whole family fled Jobar a few months ago. Jobar, Kifwadek. What's it like there? Kifwadek, Jobar. Not very good. It's very bad, she says. Moshkel? I ask her if there are problems. Moshkel? A lot of problems, she says. Even in parts of Damascus like this, where it's peaceful enough to still play, the impact of the war is ever present. Now that Rani and her friends have colored in these apples, they're going to be asked to write what they'd like to do when they're older. The last time they did this exercise here, three children wrote, we just want to grow up. Rania wants every detail to be just perfect. She's made her wish. She's written, I want to go back to my home. But Rania knows she has no home to go to anymore.